So here we have a couple of sleepy sheepies and we need to make sure that they stay happy. First we do that by feeding them some wheat and then they make little poops like that. And we need to make sure they have water fed straight from the well. And then we need to buy some empty bottles from this market here so that we can milk them. But we can't use the milk right now. So we'll just give them a little bit more water. And then they go back to sleep. So we can do other things like purchasing some soil and wheat seeds. And that way we can make our own wheat by watering the field one, two, three times. And there we have wheat. So we can feed them the next day. And now we come back to the market and get a butter churner. So we can put this raw milk in there to make butter. But we can't do anything with the butter yet. At least not until we get a packaging paper and table. So we bring the butter to the table and then it all gets wrapped up to be sold in neat little packages. Yay! And we can go ahead and sell them for 10 coins a piece. And now the bottles are dirty. So we need to clean those with a dry sink. Not really sure what makes it a dry sink. I feel like that defeats the purpose of a sink. But now we have all the pieces that we need to get a fully functioning operation here. We just need a little bit more wheat. And now we can fulfill all the needs of the sheepies properly. So we can get some compost. First, we need a compost bin. But we need a little bit more money for that. So we will just get the sheepies going through their daily routine so we can start to make more butter. And we just need to sell two more of these to get the money we need for a composter. So now that's added in. And then all these little poops that they made can be brought right to it for fertilizer. And now we need to sell 10 wheat. So let's go ahead. Oh, we don't have enough gold. Well, we can sell one wheat as is to give us enough seeds. I definitely want to save wheat to feed our sheepies so we can sell one more of these and then now uh, that's harvested we sell a couple more the days are moving forward now so we need to make sure we have the wheat for the sheeps but we honestly might get enough wheat before the sheep wake up next and sure enough we can so let's just go ahead and do that and then quickly plant more wheat and then as the day rolls around they want woo they're extra fluffy now so we need to get some shears thankfully all that wheat selling gave us enough money for it so we can trim one of them up feed the other one and then when that's done we just flip flop so now we have dirty wool that can actually be sold as is. Extra money there is always good. And we have another little poo here to bring to the fertilizer. So now we need an empty sack to put the fertilizer in. Now that we have this, we can put it to our field. So when we plant wheat seeds next, and also probably fulfill the rest of the needs of the sheep because can't forget about them. Go ahead and go to sleep. I have things to do. But now when the wheat is harvested fully, we're going to be getting so much more wheat out of this. Very good. So we can sell all of these, but two of them. Oh, we could straight up sell the field if we needed to. But we will continue production here of the butter. But it also looks like we're short on packaging paper. So we'll get more of that. And now more money from selling butter. So our production is actually running pretty smooth right now. But now it's day three. So we have the chance to get more sheepies. First, we need to go through all of their needs for the day and then once all their needs are met they're ready to make baby sheepies so we'll just let them do their thing and there's a baby right there oh it's adorable also makes fun little baby noises oh oh it wants a needle don't worry this one's full of medicine so we definitely need that and it also wants raw milk so it's a good thing we didn't turn this to butter but we just poke it like you do with babies and then feed it some milk beautiful okay but now the sheeps actually need wheat so we quickly need to get that field set up and now we need to make sure we have a raw milk on standby to feed the baby sheep there now we can feed you do we need to go through all your needs again okay nope you're just hungry from making babies but now we have a full thing of fertilizer now so we can get even more wheat which thankfully all of this can happen while they're asleep and the baby doesn't need wheat yet so we can still produce all the way down to two wheats and make even more money from this which we are going to need to increase the farm area that costs 75 coins but we'll just move on to the next day because we have a better opportunity to make money from that and also shearing the sheep and it's good that the baby only needs raw milk to be satisfied beautiful more dirty wool and now we have two empty bottles so let's save one for the baby and then turn the other one into butter and when we package and sell this little bit of butter we actually have enough for the farm area so let's quickly get that oh yes so much more area okay next we need to make 150 money because i guess we're going through tough times
times. But let's use this bigger area to rearrange things a little bit. We'll have the compost bin up by the farm, and then we'll set the butter production down in this corner here, just to give the sheep more room to be about. Also, the sheep make some very <laughs> interesting sounds. They sound like the Charlie Brown adults. But let's use the most time that we can while the sheep are asleep to make some more wheat, because I guess we need to, since we didn't have any to feed them properly. We can sell this one. Feed the baby, feed the sheepies, donate one bottle of raw milk to the butter fund. And it would be nice to have another bucket, but I guess that's not something I can get. And I think I'll actually wait a day before planting these seeds because we're only one compost thing away from getting fertilizer. Or you know what? We have enough time in the day. We can quickly get through this. And let's actually move the well closer to the farming plot. And now the sheeps are ready to be sheared again. So that's even more money for the tough times. And now we have fertilizer. So let's quickly fertilize the field. And with these wheat seeds, we can get even more money. Sadly though, each of the wheat things only sell for four gold a piece. Although once this baby grows up, then we won't have to waste any raw milk feeding it. There we go, more wheat. And we'll just keep that cycle going for a while. Oh, hey, the baby grew up. Oh, but he's really hungry now. Go ahead and feed you and you're ready to be sheared too. That's extra nice. So now this raw milk can be used for butter. Very good. But now we need to make sure that we wash this bottle before we give it to another sheep because there's more sheep than bottles right now. We just have more we have to take care of in the day. It's all well and good though. It means we make more money. But we're also going to need more packaging paper right now. So we're selling three butters per cycle. I like this. And also more dirty wool. But sadly, the sheep seem to be one day separated on the wool harvesting. So it's a little annoying that way, but we're making so much more money. But now we need to keep all of these weeds for the sheepies. But now after this weed cycle, we can harvest them and bless the fields with fertilizer the next time. But my goodness, these sheeps need a lot of water. It'd be nice if I could buy another bucket, but that's not available yet. At least when the butter is done churning, it delivers itself right to the table, where of course we need more paper already. But we are getting very close to our money quota. One more thing of wheat fields should do it. And I think to make the bottle situation easier, I might actually buy an empty one of those because they're not very expensive. So that's even more wheat for us to sell. I like this. And if we sell just one more, we could do it. But we're about to go to the next day, so I won't. Oh, and they're actually able to fill up the compost bin this day. Very good. And now this dirty wool gets us to the money goal. Beautiful. Ooh, so now we can do better things with the wool. Right after I sold it. Amazing. So we can focus on what to do next. So we need to get a wool washer and dryer. Thankfully, we have the funds to buy both of those right now. And that can go up in this corner here. And I do like that I can stack things in the queue for each of the respective buildings. Because there is a bit to go through each day now. And now this day, both of these sheep should be ready to shear. So now we can bring this wool to the wool washing station. And that will go through a thing. And now we have some washed wool, so we have to dry it. And now we have some clean wool, which we can sell for even more money. That's perfect. 20 gold a piece is going to be very nice. And now we can buy an upgrade for the sheep capacity. Right after we sell this little bit of butter. But my goodness, this amount of sheep is going to be very difficult to manage. Thankfully, now we can get another bucket. Gee, if only I had 48 monies. How does a bucket cost that much? I can't even buy any packaging paper right now. Oh boy. All I can buy is some wheat seeds, which I need for the sheep anyway. So this poor butter is just left out in the open. Thankfully, though, we are making this work. And there's another sheep raid to be sheared so that's even more money for us another 20 gold there as we're flat broke so at least we can buy the wrapping paper now and get this butter off to the market and thankfully we are still able to meet the needs of all the sheep before the day is out so before we buy another bucket i'm actually gonna buy some more seeds because we have the field fertilized and we need more for the next day anyway oh we actually do have enough to buy the bucket still so that's gonna help out a lot two buckets so the next thing we can buy now is structure capacity Capacity. Thankfully, once the sheep are fed, we can use both buckets to speed up the process a lot more. So now we're not have to waiting for things to refill to get to the other sheep. And now they're ready to make another sheepy. So let's go ahead and do that because I think we have a pretty good handle on how things are right now. But they also need some more wheat after doing that. Oh, and the baby needs medicine. Uh, how much was medicine? Okay, we can buy medicine right now, so that's a good thing. And we still have raw milk. Take the raw milk. And the sheep are still able to get the wheat that they want. 
Oh, good. It also means that we have fertilizer again. So we are still making this work. But of course, there's other things that we need to get still, like more packaging paper, because we unfortunately have a very successful butter operation. And at this point, we are going to need the fertilizer to keep up with all the wheat demands of the sheep once this baby grows up. Thankfully, though, we can still keep up with all this. And also, thankfully, the fourth sheep doesn't need wheat yet. But we are going to need a fourth bottle pretty soon. For now, though, let's upgrade our structure capacity. So we go, oh, a water trough. That would be helpful. But that costs 80 gold. Oh, goodness. Let's just keep the money machines rolling for now. And also make sure that we have a steady supply of wheat coming in here. Because as long as we're making surplus wheat, then we can sell it for extra money. But both of these sheep here are ready to shear. So once we process all of this wool and sell it, then we should have enough. Just going to make sure that we have all the sheep's needs taken care of first. There we go. They're all sleeping. And then we sell the wool for 20 and 40. And then we'll also finish up this field here so we can plant a fertilizer and also get a little bit of butter being made just so we have a little bit of extra money and now we can buy the trough beautiful so once we fill this with buckets a whole lot of buckets then the sheep should actually take water from it once they need it which gives us even more water to use for the wheat farm production and also some wool sacks so we need to get another empty sack. Actually, we have one here. Surely nobody will mind if we use it for wool as well as fertilizer, right? But we're also selling the sacks, so we'll probably need another one. Thankfully, they're very cheap. So this one will go for wool, and this one will be for compost. And look at that! They're being fed, and they're already drawing water from the trough. Beautiful! But right now, that means they're going through, like, six water in a day. So we'll need to make sure the trough is topped up at all times. Which, thankfully, right now, that's very manageable. And now we need to take this clean wool, and we put it in a sack which actually makes it worth more. Neat! But as I was afraid of, we lost the sack. So that'll be another thing of money to use for that. But I would say right now our operations are running very smoothly. Oh, we're actually full on resources, so we can't harvest the wheat just yet. At least not in full. Thankfully, we have a lot of surplus there. Whoa. And we also have a surplus of raw milk right now. So let's get those bottles cleaned out. Oh, and this sheep grew up. Oh, great. So we don't have enough wheat right now. Okay, prioritize the baby and cheer the baby. And also get some more wheat planted right away. Never mind the fertilizer. And where'd the shears go? Here's the shears. So yes, that's even more we have to take care of. Oh gosh, and you need a clean bottle. And you need wheat. So much more to manage already. Just with the fourth sheep growing up. So many resources. Can we buy a resource capacity next? I need to make sure that sheep gets fed before the end of the day. You have a whole process to go through. But at least now we can sell the wool for even more room there. Okay. Oh gosh, and there's so much butter lying around. I need the paper, but I don't have resource capacity for that even. Okay, but thankfully, Hopefully this is happening a lot better right now, I think. Sell that. Just get rid of the empty sack because I need room here. I need room to work. And why is resource capacity not available yet, game? Okay, either way, we're going to buy some packaging paper and then get this here. Queued up with all the butters. And then we need an empty sack. Or do we? We don't really need an empty sack for the wool. 20 is good enough. And then make sure the poop goes in the fertilizer because that frees up even more space. And then make sure the bottles are clean. Okay, so we have a few things queued up right now, but we can also put some water in there and then, okay. But now how much does another thing of soil cost? 96. Oh, we can actually buy that right now. Can we though, if we have a structure capacity? Is this kind of structure? It does, which means that we need structure capacity yet again. And now we don't have enough for the soil. Okay, well, let's just have everything here resume operations and also buy more packaging paper because my goodness, we went through that fast. We might need to buy another table and now we need an empty sack for the fertilizer. How did the day suddenly become so busy? At least we're not overstocked on resources, but now we need extra wheat seeds. I'm just going to buy two of these right now. And then we get other things queued up. And the water trough is empty now. Oh boy. I need more automated things. We have sheepies going hungry here. This is unacceptable. Okay, but there's more wheat. You get fed and you get fed. And then water trough, water trough, bottles. But now we're somehow at resource capacity again because I want to make sure the sheep are fed, but the wheat take up so much space. Okay, at least everybody's asleep. And then more wheat gets sold right there. Okay, now we can buy more soil. So now we can get more things of wheat being planted. Oh, carrots. Do these feed the sheep better? Carrots these plant and grow them. Okay. Thankfully, they are very cheap. And then we just do that. I'm not so sure the sheep actually eat carrots. But we will make sure they're both watered equally. And also, you know, water the trough. So we are definitely going to be at resource capacity now. But at least we can sell the wheat and feed all the sheepies here. And shear all the sheepies. And get that going. Oh, they need medicine? 
Why do they need medicine? Okay, fine. Let's get the wool process moving still. Because once they're in a building, they don't take up resource space. Okay, medicine. Can I buy two of these? I can buy one. And then poke you. And then I guess for... Oh, gosh. So many things are happening right now. Sell the wool. Sell the butter. Bottles. Fertilize the field. And then uh, empty bottle here. Medicine is needed. Okay, so thankfully all the sheep are medicinated. But man, there is not much more I can do at this capacity right now. Hey, at least all the sheepies are asleep. Okay, sell that wool. And I have so much butter to be made. I might need a second table at this rate. And then, okay, I'm supposed to sell six carrots so I can get rid of those. And then move the packaged butter. And now, oh gosh, I don't have wheat. I don't have wheat. At least the wheat field is fertilized. But I also need carrot seeds to get that moving. And then this moving. And then buckets and buckets. Just gonna focus on the wheat for now. Need to get that grown. Actually, the buckets get filled faster than the field needs the next thing of water. So that should be okay there. Okay, thankfully it is okay there. You get fed and you get fed. All of you get fed. And you get a haircut. I want to give you a haircut. There we go. And then we have fertilizer to move into this field again. Because the carrots are already going. Okay, they only bottles now. But I have less bottles than sheep. So I need to get the butter production moving. This is a vicious cycle now. At least they're all able to water themselves, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Man, this is a full day all of a sudden. But let's keep watering the carrot fields because I need to do that. And also get more wheat seeds. And I could keep bagging the wool into the sacks for extra money, but the bags cost seven gold. So that's really only a three gold profit compared to selling the wool just normally. Doesn't seem really worth it to me. But man, we are barely getting through the day before the next thing arrives. At least we're going to have more carrots that we can sell thankfully campfire cooking wow are we gonna have some mutton that would make my life a lot easier but thankfully we have enough wheat for the next day so we don't have to worry about that as much but now the trough is also empty i would very much like some additional help on the farm to just move at least move wool to that or just move the butter just extra help on the butter train that's what i would like and you still need shearing so buying a campfire but that's also a structure, so we need structure capacity. Thankfully, we have a whole lot more money than I realized. And now once everything is moved here, uh, packaging paper. Always a packaging paper. Because I can't just sell the butter as is. Just put a slab of butter in someone's hands and sell it that way. That works fine, right? Okay, structure thing. We bought that. We need a campfire. So we buy that. Roast the mutton. Just roasted good. It's delicious. Cook some food on it. Okay, what can we cook? Carrots. It makes total sense. Because we just did a tutorial step, not even a tutorial step, we did a quest step with the carrots. And I probably should have put down the fertilizer first. Oh well, it'll be there for the next time. Because the next day is already here. It's also sheep day, but we're not worried about sheep right now. We're just worried about making sure everything is going fine and dandy. Because thankfully with the sheep watering themselves, we get a lot more time to do the things that we want to do. Also, how'd this butter end up up here? A little unusual. And now each of these fields just need one. One more watering and i think the fertilizer going to the wheat field is priority number one but let's start cooking some carrots where a pot just magically appears at least it makes some things easier for me that way so now we have a cooked carrot that really doesn't look any different it just looks smaller but now we have three cooked carrots and oh wheat trough that would be so helpful but of course we need more structure capacity thankfully we can buy that and can we buy the trough right now Yes. So we can have one trough full of wheat and one trough. Oh, good. The food and stuff going into the troughs gives two charges. It's not exclusive to water. I am very happy about that. It's a little challenging right now, but at least things are getting more automated. And does this cook carrot cell for more? Looks like it does. Oh, good. They're feeding themselves. So now we should start seeing a positive uptick of... Oh, gosh. Why do you want carrots? I just sold carrots. It wants a cooked carrot? What kind of needy sheep are you? I'll just buy one right now, just to get you out of there. Oh, orange poop. Weird. It's more fertile, so it fills up the box quicker. Very interesting. But now the water trough is empty, so that's cool. Can I just dump the trough in the well? Oh my gosh, I actually can. <laughs> I didn't realize I could do that. Okay. I, I genuinely didn't know that would work. I was just... I was gonna mess around with it. Okay, so we need to make sure that we have a steady supply of cooked carrots as well as the wheat, depending on whatever they want. But I'm also full on resources again. So this is turning into a whole thing. I haven't even started considering buying another sheep because this seems pretty hectic. Or maybe I'm just making it seem hectic because we're actually doing okay right now. Also, what do you mean make a wheat trough? Oh, until it's full. 
Fine. Oh yes, resource capacity. Finally, I can get an upgrade for that when it only costs 10. Can I, how many of these can I buy? I can actually buy a few of these right now. I'll just buy them until it costs 20. Okay, so now we can have 23 resources on the field now. This is going to be very helpful. And thankfully all the sheep now just want wheat. Now I just need to set up like an automatic milking station. And I'm going to have a wrapping paper on standby because we're going to go through a lot of butter. And the sheep still need shearing. Oh my goodness. Thankfully though, everything is looking pretty well in order. It was just very anxiety inducing to get there. I will say though, I really love that I can just dump the trough in the well. But let's start to fertilize both fields now because we can do that. And you know what? We're going to buy a fourth bottle. So there's one for each of the sheepies. Okay, and now we have carrots so we can cook those up. Oh, I guess I was supposed to increase capacity until it's 25. You know what? Sure, it's the cheapest thing on here, so let's do that. Okay, what else you got for us? Potatoes or onions? Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. So what does structure capacity cost now? 61? Oh, that's almost everything. So we have carrots on standby. Let's go ahead and buy some onion seeds and then put that in this field here. And then wheat seeds go in this one. Now we have enough bottles for everybody. And now they just need shearing to finish out their day. That extra resource capacity is so nice. And we have a steady line of wool being processed too. I like this. Now let's make sure the fields are watered, which it looks like the onions take way more time to water but thankfully all those things are going very well and then we have onions and it wants us to sell those so we will do that they go for a seven a piece that's not bad oh my goodness <laughs> i didn't know we could actually do this oh gosh butchering the oldest sheepies makes more sense how do i tell who that is you know what it's the next day so oh gosh cleaver where are you i didn't think we were actually going to do this i was making jokes about it well one last hoorah for one of the sheepies is one of these two so we will go through all of that we'll just make sure all the sheepies are asleep they don't need to see this okay who's it gonna be eeny meeny miny this one so we're Oh, that is, oh no, there's so much that comes out of it. What is all this? A stomach and mutton slices, sheepskin. Oh no, we can cook the meat too. We gotta get through all this before they wake up. So here's a cooked mutton. That sells for 10? Wow. And there's so much of it too. Okay, a, a ugh, fleshing beam. What even is that? Is this thing, we can buy that. Oh wait, structure capacity. So we can't buy that yet unless we sell the rest of the meat, which I don't think we have anything else we're using this for. They're gonna wake up and be like, hey, where did Gregory go? And it's like, who is Gregory? Gregory never existed. There is no war in bossing say. At least if things get too overwhelming, then I can just, you know, send the sheep to the farm upstate. But now we have more bottles than sheep. So this was not a good idea, I think. Actually, it was very good idea because we can sell a lot of this mutton here and also the wool so we are using all of the animals or all parts of the animals but a straight up stomach what the heck do you do with that well for right now we buy a fleshing beam and then put the sheepskin on there so we're making sheepskin and then actually the next day is when we get another baby sheep so let's go ahead and do that okay so we have a sheepskin so we can sell this for 30 wow okay a beautiful mill so this is a whole other thing that we can do. Abo, what the, what kind of a word is that? Abo masum with a cleaver? Okay, so we cleave the stomach open. Oh, stomach waste can't be sold. Can this be fertilizer? It can. And then stomach, get its, its rennet with an empty bowl. Can I even buy empty bowls yet? No, I cannot. So maybe I'll just sell the stomach as is because I can't do anything more with that. And that also was cheaper than just buying the stomach as it was. So it's a little unfortunate that way. But now that all the needs of these sheep are being met, we can make some more sheep. And then we also need to buy medicine for the little baby. So now we do that and then we feed you some milk. And we have a pretty well-rounded sheep farm right now. I like the way this is going. So I think that'll end it for this video before we get into more things like mill production and everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of happy sheepies and the fun little sleeping sheep on the menu there. All sorts of goodness. If you want to see more of this game, then be sure to let me know. Thank you for watching and sub to intern. And I want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Corby Farm, Dakota, Donamoto, Devion X, Lucas, Ancient Elixir, Matthew, Hateful Herald, Peggy Sue, Drupal Long, Angel, Lily Bites, The Miner Within, Degarity, Sands, V, Isaac, Killer Squad, Mousy Mouse, and Nicholas.